are almost done. We just have this part left. I think I'm doing my bronzers in a different video because I just think this video is going to be a very guys, long one. My three Rare Beauty blushes. These are the liquid ones. And I'm not sure if I want to pick up new ones. I think if they had like minis, I would probably get those instead because a little goes a long way. So I don't really think that it's necessary to get the full one this one is in hope and i think everyone has this shade this one's really pretty it's like a neutral pink yeah it's a really pretty shade and then i have this one and this one is in encourage this one has more of a purple yeah it's just i don't know I don't really wear that shade, so I might declutter it at the end of the year. We will see. And then I have this burnt orange one. This one is in love. But I'm going to try this during the fall time and Christmas time and see if I like it or not. Now that I'm looking at, all, at three of these, I kind of do want to pick up some more because I don't really like these two shades. So maybe during I Christmas three time. Three of these know. She Glam liquid blushes. And this one is in Love Cake. I really do like these as well. They're very blendable. And this one's a really pretty pink. This one is in Devoted. It's a really pretty orange color. And then I have this one in Risky Business. I think this is more of a... Oh yeah, this one's really pretty. This one's more of a nude. So I'm really happy with these. I will not be purchasing more because I just have so many. And I'm really happy with the shades that I have in those. Now these, I just recently picked these up. And these are the new Maybelline Sunkiss Blush. When I saw these, I thought they were their lifter glosses. But I realized that they were actually blushes. This one's in 01 Downtown Brush. And I have used this a couple of times. It's really pretty and you know what it kind of looks like my elf one i kind of want to compare it a little bit okay so this one is in peach perfect i just want to see okay so this one's a little bit lighter but oh yeah this one's definitely lighter i don't know why i wanted to compare those but um yeah so that one is downtown rush this one is in Blazing Blush. And this is a very pretty baby gum, bubble gum pink. I have these three here. I will show you this e.l.f. one. I always keep this whenever I do my declutter, thinking that I will use it, but I have not used it. And I feel like I just need to get rid of it. This one is in Lychee, I think. just kind of swatch it and see yeah it's really pretty i just don't know why i don't use it this one yeah is in lychee and maybe the highlighter side i can use it as a eyeshadow because i feel like i don't know if that will look nice on my skin because it kind of has like a like a gray undertone to it but other than that, this is very pretty. Um, I would recommend it to anybody because as you can see, it's very pigmented. I have these two and these are Korean blushes. And honestly, it says, oh, Rom and ND. And I think I have lip stains from them as well. This one is in Better Than Cheek. And I don't know, I might get rid of this because I feel like doesn't really show up on my skin look it's very very light but maybe if i build it up you can kind of see and so yeah here's how that looks it looks really light 
might get rid of that this one is in honestly okay no i don't know what this one is it's not better than cheek because i think that's the brand or the line so here's that one that one's very pretty as well these are very soft when you touch them it's like a buttery feeling i have these two color pop quads and this one is in born to blush i don't know if they still have these but these are very very pretty i use this during the fall time because i feel like this is more um neutrals and i like to wear neutrals in the fall time this one's more of a darker complexion palette i think it's also very pretty as well i do have this one this one's from jouet and i keep it every year but i don't i don't know why i don't use it but it's very pretty it's more of a peachy pink and yeah it's very pretty so i am sh i should take her out next month kind of have to keep that in mind i have another korean brand um i don't know what the brand is called but it says afternoon tea and um comes with three shades very pretty again it does have that buttery touch to it as well let me do let me do a better swatch for you guys so i feel like this is very nice for like the neutral girlies who want something very neutral for every day i have this one from m cosmetics and i really do love her blushes this one is in magic hour i do want to pick up some more the only thing that i just don't really like is how bulky the packaging is but other than that, love the product. All right, and then my flower bombs. I think I picked up two more. Yes, I did. And I did do a short on these. Um, but I will go ahead and show you guys the shade. So this one is in Pinched. I would say this one's my favorite one. And I like to mix Pinched with the Peach one. It's a really pretty neutral peach. And then this one is in Nectar. I like to mix these two together. Pinched and Nectar. Yeah, and it's really pretty peachy orange. I have this one in Bubbly. This is a pretty pinky bubblegum pink i feel like it has like a hint of purple as well mixed in it very pretty the last one is in cheeky and guys this color is so not the packaging color look at that it's like more of a mauve color so i might declutter this as well it kind of reminds me of the rare beauty one i'm just going to swatch it next to it and see if they are dupes well dupes as in colors but yeah see it's very similar the rare beauty one is just a little bit darker yeah i think i might get rid of those because i don't like the color so we will see all right last but not least i have four putty blush and this one is in i wish they put the names on the bottom but they're on the side this one is in tahiti and just a disclaimer they might look a little bit nasty but it's just my brush that was pushed in there this one's a really pretty um neutral pink and then i have this one and th this one's a lum illuminating one and this one is bermuda this one's a really pretty peachy pink and it looks like i haven't really used this so i might take this one out next month as well and i have this one in bali 
I think I wear this during the fall time. It's really, really pretty. And then I have this one in, let's see, Bahamas. And I think out of all four, I think I've used this one the most. This one is a peachy color. It has more of an orange hue to it. So those are the four that I have. All right, guys. So this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys stayed until the end. I know it's a very long one, but I just wanted to show you guys my collection because I know it is going to continue to grow. And then at the end of the year, we are just going to do a whole declutter series on here. And so I hope you guys stayed. I hope you guys subscribe, um, like the video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.